Hi, Agazama. <laughs> Good morning, my bin chickens. Hello. We are in Kyoto. This is our day of exploration. And we are at the Kyoto Imperial Palace. And we've learnt a lot just in like the past 10 minutes, basically. We learnt that um, there's three different types of dignitary that can meet the emperor. And you have to wait in a certain waiting room, which, dignita which uh, signifies your importance. Yep. So, and there's certain gates that only certain people can come through. We're currently standing right in front of the Imperial Palace here, the most important building, where they carry out the most important ceremonies. And this gate here, this one, this is the south gate. And only the Emperor can come through the south because the south, or exit, yeah, because the south, um, uh, is it points towards your people. Yes. Yeah, because you should be in yeah, the north, north yeah. as the most important person. Because um, you should be looking. Uh, it sounds weird, sounds but weird it makes looking sense. Down. Looking down upon your people because you're protecting them. Yeah, you're up the top. So when you want to go see your people, you go through the south exit. Because it just makes sense, I guess. Mm. But yeah, he's got. He's even got his own um, porch. But the porch sort of technically translates into um, a carriage section where, yeah, where, yeah, where you'd park the carriage and then he'd dropped off. he would hop into his palace like immediately yeah. he wouldn't touch the ground um but the lower level ones they'd have to go around the corner yeah. sort of thing so it's very very interesting the amount of layers that there is and uh we're about to head off go inside before this giant tour group White beats people. us <laughs> let's go so these roofs here they're made out of layers upon layers of cypress bark so Look at the feat of engineering that is. And this is a humongous courtyard. You can imagine it just like full of people and uh, dignitaries alike. That red colour is gorgeous. And we found out that these roofs here are made of clay. Fantastic feats of engineering. Honestly. Wow. Fantastic, 
This is a deity of education and academia. All these people have donated bits of their clothing um, as a gratitude towards this deity for either granting their wish or you know, just for protection. So, like, all these little aprons have been given to people who have come here to show their compassion for the deity, which is a bull. It was a fantastic shrine. It's massive. It's all for education too. So it's fantastic that they can dedicate themselves to something. And really give their luck to the gods. I mean, show their dedication to the gods. It's probably a better phrasing of that. You know, there's so many little... Um, shrines in here that you can pray to individually. You can see that you know why? So this, you've got constant like um, privacy to pray. Oh, hello little bird. It's a little hummingbird. I'm sorry for the Americans. <laughs> They're annoying. the older part of Kyoto. They've got the, all the old style houses. They're very beautiful. You can tell some of them have been repaired, like this one has been changed into a more of a modern house. But they're mostly all modern. Now to excuse my huffing and puffing, <laughs> it's very hot and very humid today. And I am a very moist girl at the moment. <laughs> golden pavilion now. I'm about to walk in. I'm very tired. So I just ate lunch. I'm quite full, but you've got to see this. It's part of the necessity to travel to Kyoto. See the golden pavilion. I'm very excited. Let's go in. Dad said they don't have grass around the trees, it's moss. It's really cool because it's nice and thick. It looks really green and beautiful. Mountains and stuff. 
What do you think, Dad? Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Yeah, very good. Wow. How old is it? 600. This is a 600-year-old bonsai tree, pine tree now. It started off as a bonsai, then it was a cut into the garden. And it resembles a ship, if you can see that. So here is the mast, here's the bow. It's fantastic. So beautiful. So this is the room of the guardian deity of Kukakaji, uh, Pudomio. He's a very um, warrior-esque Buddha figure. He holds a sword. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't. But he's right in the, there. Um, so he's got the sword and he's surrounded by a fire. He's a big tough boy. Protection of fire. It's absolutely beautiful. It smells fantastic too. Nice thick wood. It's beautiful. Two pats? Two pats. That was more of a slap. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. <laughs> yeah. This shrine here is uh, for production. See this? This is for used in weaving. So you pray for good production. Pretty cool. This shrine here is for help with people. It's a really beautiful place. This one. It's for health and matchmaking. Yeah. Have you have you done a plane at the shrines? Yeah, we've done heaps. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we are at dinner, and as you can see behind me, we're right on the river. But here's the thing: we're on a terrace, so we're sitting cross-legged on the floor on tatami. Like it's fantastic. This is really, really cool. Really authentic. Um, we're having authentic uh, Kyoto cuisine tonight. We've got a fantastic view. It smells like salt because it's salt water. So it's really, really good. I am loving every second. What do you think, Dad? Whee! <laughs> this is really awesome. It's really this awesome. This is so cool to be doing something authentic. So you can see behind Dad there's the tatami and people on the uh, balcony with us, sitting down on the floor. This is going to be great. Our legs will hate us, but it's worth it. It's a real deal. It's a real deal. We're sitting here. We're going to have a fantastic dinner. I'm going to document it for you guys. It's going to be so good. Look forward to that, my bin birdies. Awesome. So here's our appetizer. Uh, first up, we have a Japanese snail. Next up, we have uh, juvenile sardines. Focus on that because shadow. Sorry about that. Uh, sardines with seaweed. Um, we've got uh, tofu, sesame tofu. Focus, thank you. Um, so then we've got baby firefly squid, dried. And then we've got uh, persimmon and Japanese taro potato. And for dessert, it's fantastic. I'm here for this, it looks fantastic. I'm going to eat all of it and I'll report back how good it tastes. So we've just received our second course, uh, it's a Japanese clear soup, it features um, paste made of, uh, just, it's a paste, it's a paste of some sort, delicious, I guarantee it, um, and then you can't see in the slide. But um, there is some mushrooms down the bottom here. There. So you eat the paste and the mushrooms and you also drink. I don't think that's a lime, isn't it? Yes. Don't eat that. No. So I took a bite and I realised what the uh, foam is. It's more like a dumpling. 
um, but it has uh, beans, uh, I think there's a form of seafood in it, and edamame. It's all combined together to make a sort of uh, paste meal. It's quite delicious. It's got a seafood taste to it. Um, it's a bit like, like a soup dumpling, that sort of thing. But it's here is our third dish. Uh, it's today's fresh sashimi. Uh, we've got uh, bonito, lightly grilled bonito, uh, flounder. Uh, what was the last second one? This one. Mackerel? Mackerel. There's mackerel. And then we've got octopus here, that little tentacle. And tap steak. I am so ready. So we just got uh, dish number four. Uh, in here, uh, cucumber and jellyfish. Uh, we've got a grilled sweet fish. Then, as a garnish, we've got sweet potato, uh, uh, Kyoto river shrimp, fully grilled, and some corn. And we've got our dipping sauce for our river fish, or sweet fish. And uh, I feel pretty bougie. Here is dish number five. Um, it's lightly grilled uh, sorry fish. Uh, we got pickles um, and salmon roe. Forgot what that green one is. <coughs> cucumber looks, or something? Oh, uh, cucumber. Yeah, it's like a form of cucumber. Oh no! <laughs> this one here is a Japanese sea eel hot pot. It's a little mini itty bitty one. You can see it by dirt. A tiny little one. Look at that. Bubbling away. Fantastic. So we just got some steamed rice with uh, baby uh, sardines on top. Fried baby sardines. We've got Kyoto pickle of eggplant and cucumber. And then we have a miso soup. Fantastic. So here is dessert. Yum, 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 yum. Sweet tofu. I put in. I'm not too sure what that one is, but this is pineapple and a Japanese sweet.